guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 9 and 10 of Love After World Domination. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, I thought that was going to be loud in my ear. <laughs> Time to meet dad today. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm scared. Huh? <laughs> you know, just a friend. <laughs> Copy him. Copy him. Duh. <laughs> oh, we can't be girly at home like dang. Uh, no. I, we wanted to be cutesy. Oh. Are you okay? Well, because they're dating, but you know, he can't tell you that. I 
mean, you know, you could kind of tell she is one of those. I mean, she's just like Yuri from Spy Family, and there's nothing wrong with that. I know, like, she so wants more than this. Are you going to fight? Lift your head. Mm-hmm. Wait, hold on. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> of course, you watch him. Because she in love, baby. You don't know. <laughs> oh. Also, damn, that's the first time I've ever seen them use emo in a show like that. <laughs> You know, you know what you can do? They ever make you cry, you kick the ass. Yes. You just, you know, you be like, yeah, yeah. You just, mm, yeah. <laughs> she hates the fact that you're in love and you're distracted. I mean, it should be fine. <laughs> Smug look. Oh, my God. <laughs> Because, once again, she's saying that you're in love and it's weak to be in love. You should be focused, independent, no man, <laughs> no woman, just yourself. <laughs> Like, bye. <laughs> oh. 
a frozen popcorn. Cool. But wouldn't that be like stale? Like, ugh, who wants that though? Oh, you look so cute! <laughs> oh, come on. Damn, still getting bullied on it. Oh! Put baby. Which is what you should do. Even with the fact that she's falling in love at the same time. She's still the same, sweetie. It's just, you know, love. Love makes us do crazy things. Love makes us act weird. And, you know, sometimes stupid. Love is reckless. Y'all do know she a child, right? No. The emo kid about to kick your ass though. Oh. Yeah, here comes Big Sis. No, 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 it's okay.
Oh, don't worry. She about to kick your butt in a minute. But it's okay to fall in love. Mm -hmm. You might not understand it now. You say that. For <laughs> <Yeah>. Fudo. <laughs> She's so adorable, my God. If we ever get season two of this show, I, I would be so happy because she's so freaking adorable, my God. But I do love the fact that Destiny told her sister, like, yeah, it's okay to fall in love, to be girly-ish. You don't always have to be, you know, the tomboy, independent, bad bitch, which is, it's okay to be a bad bitch. It really is. You can be independent. You ain't got to have no man, no woman, no nothing. That's okay. But still, at the same time, go out and experience things. Fall in love, fall in love with someone. You never know what it's going to be like. I mean, you know, Destiny was always, like, focused. Now she's just balancing everything. And, yeah, even though her sister didn't like the fact that she's over here all head over heels in love with someone and, like, literally, like, yes, I can be girly as hell and, you know, still be roughhousing. Yeah, that's okay. Love does make us weak. Love makes us do really crazy, crazy, shitty things to do and such. But that's because, you know... That person makes us happy. That's the biggest thing that matters at the end of the day. It's not about, you know, what your family thinks, what your friend thinks. It's about you and your significant other and how they make you feel and everything. Because they come first. Family comes second. Once you two are together, no matter what your family, your friends, anyone says, that goes in your ear and out the other. It really, truly does. <laughs> But yeah, she's so in love with his sister that it's not even funny. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> like, yeah, Udemy is so cute. I mean, heck, if we even had, like, a spinoff of All About Her, just how, like, with Miss Kobayashi, how, like, Kana has her own spinoff and such, and how till this day, I still want that ish to be animated, so that I can be like, oh my god, yes, Kana 24-7, yes, because <laughs> it's Kana, oh my god, come on now, I mean, because, like, I remember at the time when Kobayashi aired, and then I think a couple of months, like, her say you was in, like, everything that I watched, you know, I was like, oh my god, yay, <laughs> like, she's in everything, I always love that about Say you and such, where it's like, especially when it's a guy, oh, when it is a guy, when it's a male say you, and you, like, that one anime that you watch him then, and you immediately have a crush on the say you, and mainly also the character he plays, and then you watch something else that he's in, and you automatically fall in love with that character because he voices them, oh, that's a different, that's a different feeling, a whole different feeling and experience every single time <laughs> like bruh you don't even know I mean you know with my guy friends and if they watch something that like one of their favorite like females they use is in yeah they freak out but like us girls <laughs> we completely <laughs> did <laughs> but I thought this was a cute little 
Cruel Sister episode. Like, oh my god, I just want to see her more. I hope that we get to see her more. Like, once again, praying for a season two, even though we are very close to the end of this. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode ten. Okay, episode ten in three, two, one, go. There we go. Better than the previous take. <laughs> oh, there really is. We don't need anybody finding out about you. Oh, so you guys can be like intertwined forever. Yeah. <laughs> They are bound for eternity. Aww. <laughs> mm -hmm. So how are we doing this? You gotta love when the babies are on the same wavelength. It's mwah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Come, mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the cotton candy. That kind of sounds good. I haven't had that in a while. <laughs> hmm? Of course. Yeah. Got, got to bring them for a distraction. <laughs> oh, God. Poor Fudo. Huh? 
boy. <laughs> Thank you. Get off him, Jesus. Oh God, no! <laughs> That's so cute. I mean, Kyoko, you can't even bring your bear boyfriend here, so... Dust me. Oh, did you make something for him? Ah, you made him cookies. Say ya. Yeah.
she like a damn tyrant. Oh my god. Jesus, girl. She ain't promised you Jack ish. I know I ship y'all together, but I'm sorry. It's Foodle. Foodle. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, God. For one hour. One hour is not enough time. Decimi is running around the freaking school. It <laughs> At least they'll be together forever. Girl, you better run like you stole something. <laughs> go, my girl, go! Trying to hang out with my boyfriend. Please. Mm. <laughs> oh, for a doll. I would be really afraid to have a nice long talk with her. <laughs> yeah. Now where's Fudo? Hmm? Oh God. <laughs> no, Kiki, she's busy. Mm. 
No. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> And hurry. Put a mask on him or something. Five. Mo oh, my God. Yes, we got this. The fact that we finally get a transformation with Desimee? Yes! <laughs> I'd be like, we're just cosplaying as them. <laughs> ah, yeah. I was so good. Oh my god, it was so perfect. Oh. Ten out of ten. Um, like at first, what I thought they were going to do 
was um half <laughs> half food over the bear. <laughs> But then when I was like, wait, no, I think they're going to just transform into their normal, like, you know, red gelato, reaper princess, and then, you know, we're just going to go pretend that we're cosplaying. Guys, because cosplaying always works. <laughs> but can we just talk about the fact, the fan <laughs> First emo in the previous episode, now fanfic in this episode from this show. I, I love it when shows, especially like when uh, the subtitles come out and we're getting translations, <laughs> if we start using words and slang that we know, that's like the same thing with like, okay, when uh, I think it was what, last season of um, Kaguya-sama and when COVID got really, really bad, everyone was like, yeah, wash your hands. And then there was one episode, wash your hands. And I'm just over here like, did the show just, the show just did that, huh? I love when shows fourth wall. I, I think it's literally the best thing in the world because it's just like, oh, hey, they like they secretly know kind of what the fuck is going on in our world today, but it's, it's fucking hilarious. Watch just me have that as her wallpaper. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if they only knew. Yeah, did you do good today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> Love my egg <ankle. laughs> <laughs> but seriously, no. For a very nice festival episode with a little bit of romance and action and everything. To Can we talk about homegirl? Like, <laughs> the fact that all the princesses are here today. Bruh. <laughs> I can't. Bro, oh my god. Homegirl was like, guys, oh my god, since your boyfriend is uh, not, like here right now, I can step in on Destiny. I mean, yes, I do kind of shift them too because they're like so freaking cute together and it's only because, you know, Destiny was like, oh my god, like your nails are so freaking cute and she instantly fell in love with Destiny and such. I mean, like, I get it because yes, us girls' nails are like biggest weakness like me even though I literally now have like half of my index finger cut off and half of my thumb, like, well, kind of half, not really, you can't just see it, but like, when our nails, when you break a nail, it's like literally the worst thing in the world. And I wanted to get my nails done last week. Hell, I'm going to get my hair done too. But you know, ugh. sometimes it's hard being a girl and you're just like, bro, what the fuck? But it was so cute today. Oh my God. It makes you just like, uh, it just reminds me of how like, once again, 
just want to go on a really nice good date you know when I go to Japan to sit or whether I go by myself or with my mom or with one of my um well if I yeah even if I go with my mom and I meet that one guy who I have um a really interesting friendship um with and me and him just hang out like bruh even though he's for the other team, but that's still a date. That's me and him. And that would be freaking awesome. Like, uh, because I literally, what are, one of these other, uh, a, a person who I followed literally just got back from her honeymoon in Japan. And she went to the one place that I went to go and she took a picture in black and white. And that picture is gorgeous. And I'm like, uh, but it will look so even better in pit and color. But I'm like, no, that black and white, like, does queen like oh my god i need it so bad <laughs> but it was so cute it was so much freaking adorable out of the two i mean both were good for very different reasons but damn like they these should just hit and i can't believe we're already like at the end of this by next week which sucks so freaking bad but then that's also the start of whatever the heck i'm watching next but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of love after world domination if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for patreons and next wednesday for everybody else for the final two episodes but until then i will see you guys all next time bye